it today. Today we're going old school. We are going old school and I'm going to show you all how easy it is to make a delicious fried bologna sandwich. Did you grow up on it is the question. So I'd love to hear from you all in the comment section if you ever had a fried bologna sandwich, if it's something you grew up on like I did. All right, so I'm super excited. I have some thick cut bologna. Now, um, you also can go to your local deli and just have them, your favorite bologna, have them slice it nice and thick, okay? So if you wanna do that, you can go that route. Your favorite cheese if you love it. And here at the Young's House, we love yellow American cheese or white American cheese is so delicious, okay? So now I got some tomato because we're gonna do it a little twist and a turn. And over here we have some fresh iceberg lettuce. I have some beautiful butter bread. I have some open pit barbecue sauce. I know, we'll talk about it. And then I have some mustard. I'm gonna be making two different types. I'm gonna make my favorite type of uh, fried bologna sandwich that I used to have as a kid and I loved it and I know you're gonna love it so I'm gonna share that recipe and then I'm gonna show you how my husband likes to eat his okay so now one of the first things that we're gonna do let's kind of move things around just like so I hope y'all are having a great day today one of the first things that we must do is we need to talk about the bologna when you're frying your bologna you need to cut like a slit in it, maybe across an X, whatever you wanna do, cut a couple of slits in it so that it doesn't bubble up. Have you ever went to fry um, like a piece of bologna and as soon as you put it in the pan, only the outside got dark. The inside didn't get dark because as soon as it hit the hot heat, it, whoop, it swell up like that. We don't want that because we want that charred color to be all throughout your bologna just like so okay so we need to get four pieces out i always love this if i'm making just the regular cold bologna sandwich i love this top piece it's kind of wet <laughs> i don't know why i don't it i know it's really interesting but i will fight you <laughs> not really but over the first piece i love the first piece of bologna give it to me it's something about how wet it is. There's something on it that tastes good. <laughs> All right, so now let's do this. We have our bologna. At least this is what my dad always told us. You take, and we're gonna cut just the X into the middle of the bologna. That prevents it from swelling up. But not only that, we're gonna cut a little here, a little there, and a little here, so yours should look like that. Okay, we'll do the same with this one. Somebody's stomach is rumbling already. Somebody's mouth is watering, and if it's you, let me know in the comment section. But you know what, I don't blame you. I don't blame you, there's nothing like a good old, old school bologna sandwich, especially when you make it Gina Young style. So now here's what we're gonna do. Let's get our pan nice and hot. You can use butter if you want. Just keep in mind that butter does belt, uh, burn at a high temperature. So I kind of veer away from using the butter. I have a little bit of cooking oil and really it's just a little tiny bit in my pan. Okay, I'm heating my pan up. I wanna get this pan nice and hot, okay? So now let's put our pieces down. We're looking for a charred color. You know, hot, um, there's some people that like their hot dogs that way when you cook them on the grill. That's the color that we're looking for. So here in a few minutes, we'll come back and I want to talk about the tomato and if you're gonna decide to put tomato on your sandwich. When my husband has his sandwiches, he loves fresh tomato. And I'm not just gonna put the tomato on there just like so, I'm gonna salt and pepper it. Anytime you're using a fresh tomato, salt and pepper it, make it taste good. Okay, so let's cut two slices, all right? Just like so. Not too thin, not too thick. Just perfect. Let's see. There we go. My goodness, are you kidding me? And then 
I have some iceberg lettuce here that I have washed off. And we'll just set the two together until we're ready to use them. In the meantime, our bologna is sizzling up. So now we can talk about why I have the open pit barbecue sauce. Um, growing up at my house when I was younger, when we made a, at least when I made, <laughs> um, when we had fried bologna, I would put cheese in the middle and then I wanted open pit barbecue sauce and that was my fried bologna sandwich and talk about delicious. She's in the middle, two pieces of fried bologna, slather on just a little bit of open pit barbecue sauce and you're good to go. And of course you gotta have some chips on the side, you know you do. And then also you have to have um, some Kool-Aid. So I will be making up some tropical punch Kool-Aid so we can have that on ice with our sandwiches. And so now, since my husband loves mustard so much, he loves the fresh tomato with the salt and the pepper and the lettuce. I'm going to make it the way he likes. Let me know how you made yours as a kid. While we wait on the bologna to get nice and charred, let's go ahead and make up some Kool-Aid. can't have a bologna sandwich. You cannot have a bologna sandwich without Kool-Aid. Make it up. Gorgeous. Oh, it smells so good in here. It's so funny because my husband's like, I know. You are not making fried bologna and cheese sandwiches. I said, yes, I am. <laughs> he was super excited. You hear me? And you will be too. If it's been a while, it's time for you to get in that kitchen and make you a fried bologna sandwich. Let's go ahead and take a look and see if we got some charredness. We got a little bit. Okay, but take your time. We got all day. Don't rush it. Let's get that charredness. Look at this. <laughs> oh, well, you better make you some. All right, gorgeous. And I'm gonna keep cooking it until it gets the color that I'm looking for. Now that we have this nice charred bologna, add your cheese, your favorite cheese, so you can enjoy the recipe as well. All right, beautiful. Swiss cheese is good on this too, you bet it is. Oh, take the bologna and put it on top. So you have one piece of bologna at the bottom, cheese in the middle, another piece of thick bologna on the top. Yes. Oh, it smells good with the open pit. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so I need to salt and pepper my husband's gorgeous tomatoes for him. Light on the salt, heavy on the pepper. When I come back, we're going to assemble our sandwiches just like so. Now that our cheese is nice and melted, let's go ahead and make the sandwich that's gonna have the veggies on it. Of course, you wanna put your lettuce at the bottom. Sure you do. Let's get the nice crispy pieces. Beautiful. Hoo hoo, with the tomato. Put your lettuce, tomato in the middle so that it doesn't make your bread soggy. All right. Look at that. No worries, cause I'm gonna come in close. I'm gonna come in close so you can see it. Somebody out there wants to see this, all right? I'm not gonna use too much open pit, just enough to be able to taste, but I don't wanna overwhelm the recipe. <laughs> oh, yes, okay. Mm, 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 mm. <clears throat> Beautiful. Stay tuned for the close-up. Get our mustard on this one. Shake it. You don't want that water coming out. You know, that's like the worst. Beautiful. Take a look. Eeny, meeny, my Which one do you want? <laughs> or chips inside of the sandwich. Why not? If y'all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell the world about Gina Young what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. We thank you for feeding us a meal today. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Come on in, take a bite. Take your bite. Look at that. Oh, ha, ha. Okay, I'm, I can't.
see it. I can't wait. I can't wait. Mm. This is I remember. Mm. <laughs> mm. Make you some good night. Enjoy.